Okay, so in the last video, we um, re resized our image using the get bytes from bitmap uh, method that we created to resize, convert a bitmap to a byte array, and then compress the byte array uh, to 100% quality, which will still see a significant difference in the upload. Actually, you know what I should do? I should print out the size before the compression and then print out the size after the compression just to show you that it does actually make a big difference. Because I'm willing to bet you money that some of you are thinking, yeah, sure, Mitch. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's sure it's save size. So here I'll print out the uh, the size for you. So we'll go megabytes, megabytes uh, before compression, and just do m bitmap dot uh, get byte count, and then we want to divide by the number of uh, bytes in a megabyte, which is one million. So one zero 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 zero. And that'll print out the number of bytes and then we can do after the compression so let's copy this line of code and just go below here and we'll just take bytes and we can just do dot length so dot length on that byte array and that will give us the number of bytes and same thing so that'll that'll give you a good visual on what the compression is actually doing because i know some of you don't believe me i bet you money some of you are thinking no mitch you don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, so now let's uh, let's write this upload task method. So we'll create a new method here. So private void upload, or we'll call it execute upload task, execute upload task. And what it will take as an input is the byte array. So byte bytes. And let's just log that we will be uploading an image. So actually we can do a toast. Let's do a toast message. So toast, get activity, uh, uploading image. Okay, so the first thing we need is we need to create a new post ID for where the post, an ID for the post itself. So uh, just like a user has a user ID, this is an ID for the post. And we do that by getting a reference, then doing push.getKey, and that will allow Firebase to generate a new uh, post ID. So now we need to create a storage reference, and this is going to be the reference to where it's being stored in storage basically so it's it's like an image it's like a path basically that's that's all it is but it's a path in the storage directory in firebase so posts slash users and we want to then uh, reference the users user id that is uploading the photo and then we're going to uh, insert that post ID. That'll, oops, that'll make it a unique path, so post ID. And then do plus, and we'll just call it, this is the image name, it'll just be post image. So this is the same as if you were op to open up like a directory in Windows, and this is, this is just the path to where the image is gonna be stored. That's all it is. So let's actually take a look at the Firebase console and go to the storage section here. Uh, sure. So what this is going to be, it's just going to create a path here. So, whoops. So what it's going to do is if I create a folder and I was to do, what did I call it? Posts then users. So that all it's going to do is it's going to create a folder named posts. And then we're going to go inside posts and it's going to create a folder named users. And then it's going to go inside users and it'll add the user ID and then, and so on. So we can actually delete this because it's going to create this automatically when we actually upload the image. But that's all it is. It's just like literally a path to where it's going to be stored. That's all this storage reference is. Okay, so now we can upload the file by creating an upload task. So upload task equals storage reference. And we're going to use a method called put bytes since we have bytes. Notice that we can either use a URI, we can use a byte array. We can use an input stream. These are all the different methods you can use to actually upload files. But because we have a byte array, obviously the most convenient way is to use a byte array. So we, then we can just add our bytes here. Oh, um, I guess technically we don't need this because we have a global variable. Upload bytes, yeah. So there we go. So that, that will uh, upload our bytes and then we can add a uh, on success listener to our upload task. So add on success listener and then new on success listener. And this is just going to catch whether or not the task was successful. And we actually also want to add an on failure listener. So new on failure listener. 
and we also want to do an on progress so on progress listener new on progress listener so these are going to be three listener interfaces that will either find a successful upload a failure on the upload and then this one will give us progress updates so let's do the failure first since it's the easiest uh, we can just go get activity and then we can say could not upload photo so in other words something went wrong we just want to let the user know and the progress uh, we'll maybe do that one yeah we'll do this one now it'll be pretty quick so current progress equals we're gonna write a bit of logic here because I find it prints out too often if you just let it do what it wants so I want to get the bytes transferred and then divide by task snapshot dot get total byte byte count so um, we're just getting uh, basically a number here to represent how far along along we are in the upload process and this is the kind of little bit of logic here that I'm gonna write to make sure that it doesn't print out too often so I'm gonna create a global variable up at the top here private double M progress is what I'll call it and then we'll scroll down here oh, I need to actually set progress set it to zero so um, basically I just I want to write a little bit of logic here so that it doesn't print out too often so what I'll do is I'll say current progress so if current progress is greater than M progress plus 15 then it will print something so then we want to say progress equals this same thing here and then we can say log and do uh, upload is prog m progress percentage done and then we just want to let the user also know what's going on so we can say uh, m progress you just say percentage so um, yeah so I didn't explain this very well basically the current progress is going to be the current progress and then it's going to compare it to what the progress previously was plus 15 so th th that way this isn't going to print these two lines won't print out unless the new progress is lar is 15 larger than uh, the previous progress so it won't just kind of spam it just kind of limits the amount that it will uh, print out So now we can go inside of our uh, on success listener and we can create a toast and this scenario is the successful scenario get activity so uh, we can just let the user know that the post was successful so say post success and now we need to get a URI from the upload and then store it in the database and that's going to be the pointer because now we have a successful upload but we also need to store a pointer in the database pointing to where that image is going to be saved in storage so we can say insert the download URL into the Firebase database so we can get a URI object so Firebase URI equals task snapshot dot get download URL I don't know why it's called a URL like the method is called URL but it actually gets a URI object I find that to be weird uh, let's see so Firebase download URL and then we can do firebase URI dot get actually we can just do two string and now we need to create our database reference to insert it into the database reference oops reference equals firebase database get instance get reference and we want to create our new post object which I haven't made yet so maybe I should stop here um, so yeah so now we're at the point when we've uploaded an image successfully but we need to store a pointer in the database and in order to store a pointer in the database we need to create a post object and a post object is going to contain all these fields here so it'll be like description price country all the all these fields and then also the image in storage so maybe yeah this is a good place to stop and then in the next one we'll work on inserting that pointer into the database and creating our post object. So I'll see you guys in the next video.